This tutorial will bring you through the insert button. Alright, so what we need to do is go to the edit page to pull up all those functions again. And again, you have your toolbar and then your insert format table layout. So we're going to go to insert. And as you can see, what you're going to have is a list of different things that you can insert into your web page. For instance, you can insert images, links, you can insert a table of contents, uh, subpage listing, horizontal line, uh, the plus one button for Google Plus. And then along the right hand side here, you have AdSense, which you don't need to worry about, uh, Apps, Script, Gadget, don't need to worry about. Um, we'll probably we'll go through calendar eventually if you want to insert any Google charts, Google documents, Google Maps, um, some photos from Picasso or a web slideshow. Not necessary, but a uh, nice feature to have. You can insert your presentation, your Google presentation, a Google spreadsheet, a Google form, or different videos. Okay, and so we're going to go through uh, a couple of these here that you're going to be using uh, as we go along. Now uh, you also have gadgets. Don't really need to worry about gadgets at all um, until we get it a little more advanced. But let's just get things laid out and show you how to do a couple things. All right, we're going to start at the top with image. So if you want to insert an image, you go to insert image. Okay. So insert image. And you're going to get this screen is going to pop up. All right. You can do one of two things. You can save images, go find them on your desktop or wherever you've saved them, or you can do it by URL. And so I'm going to show you how to do both. All right, so what I've done is I've gone to Google, and I've just typed in, for instance, Minnesota Twins. And we're going to go Images. And I want this image right here. So what I do is I click on it. And when it pops up here, I can do two things. So I'm going to show you how to save it first and then upload it. So I've right clicked on the picture and I'm going to save image as. I'm just going to save it to my desktop for now. So I clicked on my desktop to the left here and just leave it the same. It says twins logo and we'll save. Okay. Now I go back to my page and my thing is still up here. Click on the box there, click on browse. Now I'm gonna go find that picture which was on my desktop and it was called Twins Logo. Okay, so alphabetically there it is. Just double click on it, thinks, and there it is. And I click on OK. And now that image goes to my web page. All right. Now, obviously, that got really big. I don't need it that big. So what I do is I click on my image, and now I have a set of other things down below here. Another set of functions. So I can set text wrap on, which so that way I can have text go around it. And I'm just going to toggle through here and see what size I want. So I want it small. That's fine. You can see my text wrap is on. And I like the way that looks, and so I will just click off the edge there, hit save, and now my image is on my website. Okay. So that is saving it. You can also use the URL. And so we're going to go back to edit page. I'm just going to delete this for um, ease of, of looking at it here. So go back to insert image and now I'm going to click on the web address, go back to my image, so here's my image, right click on my image. Now depending on your browser, um, you're going to have different, uh, different ways of saying this. And so what I'm going to do on, on Firefox, it's copy image location, or you can just, uh, if you wanted to uh, avoid the right clicking just click on the full size image and then you can take this URL up above here and we can copy that URL go back to my page and I can paste this URL and then your image shows up okay 
click OK. And again, you go through the same type of process as you would uh, for the last one. And then click Save. Okay. Go back to your edit page. We're going to run through uh, another insert function here. Inserting a link. Now, I'm going to go back to a page here. Let's say I want uh, to link to the Minnesota Twins homepage. Okay. So here's the official site of the Minnesota Twins. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this URL up above, right click, copy it. Go back to my page. I'm in the edit mode. And let's say I want uh, Okay, so here's my Minnesota Twins homepage. What I do is I highlight it, and I can just click on this link. I don't have to go to the insert, but I can click on this link. And what you're going to do is you want to link this to a web address. Okay, if you're going to link within your site, that's existing page. So a web address, right click, paste. I always like open link in new window. That way we can come back to your site. Uh, we don't have to click through the back button. It'll just open up in a new tab. Click OK, save, and there's your link. Okay, so when I click on that, it sends me to the official site of the Minnesota Twins. All right.